Hello you guys, I hope you guys are all doing great. This is the nail art design we're going to be working on today. First thing you're going to have to start by doing is choosing your background color. I chose a very light pink color. And the reason I chose a light pink color is because I wanted the flowers to pop. Um, you can do the opposite. You can do a really dark background color and do your colors a very light color. So uh, let's get started you guys. This nail art design is pretty much uh, three different colored flowers and then a little road of dots. Okay, let's get started. I chose, like I said, a very pale color. The next thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to get my globbing piece of paper and the first flower we're going to do is the white one you see right there. So I'm going to get my white polish. I'm going to glob my piece of paper. And we've done these flowers before. They're very easy and fun to do. So I'm going to get my nail daughter, um, my nail daughter, the fat part of my nail daughter, and I'm going to do the flower in this corner here. Okay, I'm going to do it in that corner there. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to dot this corner with four dots. So I'm going to do one, two, three, and in the fourth one, right there. Okay, so I have my four dots there, you guys. Next thing I'm going to do is on the opposite side, I have a dark blue flower, that one you see there. So next I'm going to glop my piece of paper with the dark blue. Okay, And all I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same exact thing I did there. I'm going to do it now with the dark blue. So I'm going to dip my dark blue and on this corner here I'm going to do one, two, three, and four. Just like that, the four dots. The next thing I'm going to do, you guys, is the pink flower. Sorry, the pink flower you see there. That pink one. So I'm going to get my pink polish. And I'm going to go off my piece of paper with the pink polish. And using the same size dot, I'm going to do the flower on the opposite side. Okay, maybe a little bit lower than I did the blue one. So I'm going to do one, two, three, and then the, the little bottom one, four. Okay, so what we've done there is the four shapes for the flowers. The next thing I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm going to drag it in. And my dotting tool got stuck over here. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. So I have the four shapes of the flowers there. So all I'm going to do now is drag them from the middle. I'm going to use the thin part of my nail dotter, or you guys can use a sharpened pencil or a toothpick. That's fine, too. So what I'm going to do is all I'm going to do is drag them one drag only in the middle of all the flowers I'm gonna drag them all in okay all I'm doing is dragging them in okay just like that just dragging them in all like that next I'm gonna move to my blue one clean that out a little better okay I'm gonna move to my blue flower and I'm gonna drag it in I'm going to drag it in and I'm just gonna do the same thing to all the dots just dragging them in towards the middle Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing to the white, I mean to the pink flower. I'm going to drag it in. I'm going to drag it in. Drag it in. And the last one, I'm going to drag it in. Okay, so all our flowers are dragged in. You know what, I think I have a lot of shadow. Let me see if I could do it like that. I don't have a lot of shadow. I have too much light, I think. But anyways, let me see if I could cover it up so you guys could see there. Okay? So all I've done is drag them all in. The next thing I'll have to do, you guys, is I'm going to get my rhinestone wheel. And what I did is sort of like I played musical musical um, rhinestones. On the white one, I placed the blue rhinestone. On the blue one, I placed the pink one. And then on the pink one, I placed the white rhinestone. So I'm going to start off. I'm going to get my clear nail polish. And I'm going to glop the white one. And I'm going to change my rhinestone wheel to the blue ones, the blue ones right here. So I'm going to glop the middle of my flower, okay, and I'm using the smaller rhinestones, you guys. These are the 1mm's. So I'm going to dip my toothpick or whatever you're using to pick up your stone and I'm going to place it right in the middle. And the reason I did this so the flowers could stand out a little more, because if I put a clear rhinestone, it, it wouldn't have been much of a difference. So now on the 
blue flower I placed a pink stone so I'm going to change my rhinestone wheel to the pink stones over here I'm going to glob the middle of my flower and I'm going to add the pink stone I'm going to dip it I'm going to pick my rhinestone and I'm going to place it right in the middle a little bit higher right there okay the next thing I'm going to do to my pink flower I added the clear stone so I'm going to change my wheel to the clear stones right there. I'm going to glob the middle of my pink flower like that. Next I'm going to dip it and I'm going to pick my clear stone and I'm going to place it right in the middle of my flower. Okay, so that'll be it for the rhinestones. The next thing I'm going to do, you guys, and my <laughs> dotting tool is stuck over here, you guys. Let me try and get it out. Okay, sorry, you guys. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get my glopping piece of paper again and what we're going to work on now is going to be the little pathway you see there. The little pathway. And that color I chose a purple. So I'm going to glop my piece of paper with purple. You guys can choose your own colors for your flowers and for your um, pathways. Whatever you want will work fine. So what I'm going to do next, you guys, is I'm going to do the little dots. I'm going to start doing the dots around the pink one. So that's where I'm going to start. Okay, I'm going to start the dots here around put it a little bit better there we go okay I'm going to start it around 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 and I'm going to start working my way down okay there okay, we go down and then I'm going to skip I'm going to go down down and I'm going to go around this empty area okay and I pretty much want them all to be the same size so that's a little bit um tricky because you have to keep dipping for them to be the same size I'm going to go around down 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 and down and that's where it's going to end so that's how you guys are going to get this look okay you guys it was very easy to do and it's a very fun manicure especially because you girls could choose your favorite colors to do it i hope you guys like it let me see if i can hold it a little bit better try it out girls let me know how it works out for you guys and tell me what colors you guys used also take care you guys and have a great weekend bye